Hi Capricorns, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is your January 2018 reading. Welcome to those of you who are new. Thank you to those of you who have come to me for readings on a monthly, weekly, yearly basis, but also to those of you who have donated and who have provided me with uh, input and comments regarding how you've allowed these energies to guide you in your path here on earth to a much more smoother, contented, happy, fulfilled, playful path here on earth. So word of prayer, please, that we can close with at the end for Capricorn. Now I'm not going to look at the word of prayer till the end, but what I am going to do is start out with the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck by John Holland. And I'm going to ask for career and financial energies or whatever spirit has to provide for you in a circle spread. So dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign and or rising sign of Capricorn with clearly defined messages regarding Capricorn's life path here on earth at this time on into and through to the end and maybe beyond January of 2018 since these energies vary depending on how much is in your chart where you're at in your path Capricorn please career and finance and any other spiritual guidance January 2018 thank you <clears throat> wow so you guys have come into some sort of awareness or you will be very shortly and with these energies, with this knowledge, you will be able to, like the magician, manifest something in your path. Now, in your mental aspects position, you are contemplating and are excited, I feel, for some sort of new beginnings in your path. In your relationship sector, there was disruption within your soul. But you came to an awareness and you are contemplating new beginnings whoever's energies I'm pulling for the general read. So in your creative aspects position, we've got the sacral chakra. This is wanting and having a strong desire for something that you have come into awareness of. And in your actions position, we have passion being ignited. So I do feel some love energies here, but if we're going to stay with the career and finance spread we had requested we do have someone coming into an awareness when it comes to a contract a project a business idea you're getting excited whosoever energies these are about creating these new beginnings so that you can free yourself from some sort of disruption of the past so you can sweep away any shame guilt negativity etc because it is a new beginning in 2018 in your creative aspects position, there's a strong desire for something. And in your actions position, spirit is saying that it is through these new beginnings and this awareness and this desire that you receive the excitement you've been waiting for. The attention, the acknowledgement. In your emotional aspects position, there may be some emotions when it comes to moving on towards what it is this new awareness is about in January. In your subconscious, you know that there is some sort of spiritual union when it comes to this contract, this new path, these ideas, this small business, this whatever it is you have chosen to do. And this spiritual union, this spiritual path, this spiritual contract with a business is what's going to heal you from some sort of disruption of the past. Now, in your practical day-to-day -day matters position, we have balance. So knowing what you want and taking the steps to get there and making these new beginnings with great passion is going to provide you with balance and balance is happiness. So in your inner strengths position, you've got the hope card energies. Spirit is shining on the path ahead of you that you are becoming very passionate and excited about. In a three card summary to my right with the same psychic tarot oracle deck, We've got the first week and a half to two weeks and understanding that there is a fulfillment of your wishes. Maybe some of you were praying to spirit for something to change, maybe a home business or a solid foundation and achievements that have to do with the home and spirit saying continue to pray as those blessings will be coming in as what you have so passionately been hoping for 
and praying for is going to bring you a lot of attention. Now in the next two to three weeks, there is positive movement forward. That's that passion, that excitement, and along with that is coming material and spiritual prosperity. Spirit is providing you guys with the spiritual strength for some of you to get to the truth of a situation that is lighting up your heart. For some of you, you have temptation and patience. Taking time to contemplate the path ahead of you as you are moving on. And in the next four to six weeks, there may be a little bit of mental conflict as you are receiving this recognition and reward. And Spirit is saying, stay focused on your goals. You have the energies of the power card, which is the elder and the lion. They take their time, but they are very focused on what the success is going to be when they get there. And they conquer anyone or anything who comes into the path before them. And Spirit's saying they're providing you with the authority energies to take control of your path. You have climbed to a higher level spiritually, and now you can sit back and watch what it is you have planted as it grows. Because there will be triumph. Now to clarify, I'm going to add the gateway to the Divine Tarot for the... to the... Psychic Tarot Oracle Deck by John Holland. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Capricorn with clearly defined messages regarding their career and financial energies and or spiritual guidance for January 2018. Okay, so some of you are coming into an awareness when it comes to maybe someone who has air in their chart, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, sun, moon, or rising, male or female, because this is general. Some of you are going to come into awareness about a circumstance, situation, person, place, environment, or even a way of thinking, and you're going to have the King of Swords energies to say exactly what it is you want and what you will not accept moving forward. Here we have new beginnings in your mental aspects position, understanding that you have climbed to a higher level, spiritually, financially, career-wise. And now's the time to leave the old arguments and frustrations of the past in the past. This is a new beginning for somebody. This is very exciting. It's like a message is coming in quickly regarding a contract, a commitment, and you're just feeling like a kid again. And you get to decide now, as you move into 2018, who and or what comes in this path. So in the first, uh, in your relationship sector, this could be a relationship to business. Maybe you came into an awareness that you were not being paid what you were worth and it was upsetting you. And Spirit's saying, as you speak your truth with the King of Swords energies, you are going to find yourself in a position of financial independent prosperity. So in your creative aspiration, inspirations position, we've got the sacral chakra, which is a strong want, a desire, a gut feeling. But we do have the Ace of Cups in reverse. So we need to figure out in the creative aspects position, creatively, how do we bring about the blessing that we want? That I feel the universe wants to bring in, that you will be aware of in the next week and a half or two if you haven't recognized what this is already. In your actions position, we've got passion being ignited. Why? Because you have the Empress Energies, which is a major arcana. This is Spirit's way of assisting you when it comes to a new path that you are manifesting, that is blessed. This could be marriage, this could be children, this could be a new business, this could be climbing to a higher level in a business, this could be a new job altogether. In your emotional aspects position, it's about moving on from those who have maybe stabbed you in the back. And in your subconscious, you know that there is a spiritual union. You know that something that is transpiring, that is changing, is bringing you into what is meant to be. Could be a spiritual union when it comes to a contract, a position, a title, a amount of pay. But you will, once you speak your truth, 
find that you will receive what it is you are worth. There will be equal give and take. And that's why you'll know it's the right direction. Now, in your mental aspect, oh no, practical matters position, day to day practical matters, it's about maintaining balance when there's frustration, when there's arguments, when people are speaking behind your back and you're moving on from a situation, let those swords lie because they will start this path off then in an imbalanced way. So release any negative energies of the past in January and know that you have the inner strengths of hope. Spirit is helping for you to have hope as you come into awareness that you can manifest a new beginning for yourself in January. There is a time of rest here so you have the energies of the inner strengths ability with the Four of Swords to stop and contemplate how far you've come and to wait for Spirit to bring in your blessings. As you are taking the steps in your actions position day to day to do what it is that truly fulfills you. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to add now the Actually, I'm going to check a three-card spread to my left here with the same gateway to the Divine Tarot. So the beginning of the month, be careful when you're excited. Make sure you don't get lost in fantasy, false promises, etc. Spirit is clarifying with the Ace of Wands that there is a new exciting path ahead of you that could be very passionate, or you could be very passionate and about a creative project or idea. And they're offering you this new opportunity, this new path that you are stepping into that will also offer you blessings when it comes to finances. Uh, it could be that some of you are thinking about a situation involving children or someone from the past. This person could either have air in their chart or be with someone who has air in their chart. Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising. I feel like this is a love message. That someone is letting go of some sort of regret and so you should because it's a time of healing and it's a time for a brand new path, a new direction for yourselves. The High Priestess is going to help you when it comes to this new direction. When it comes to in what in your gut you know is right for you. So remain balanced in the fact that the High Priestess is going to bring clarity your way. She's going to shine the path ahead of you when it comes to an offer. Could be that some of you are receiving an offer of love from someone who has water in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or someone is just making a big offer to you, entrusting in you. And this is the awareness. Do I step into a new path and release myself from feeling trapped? Yes. In the next four to six weeks, we have the Knight of Swords, someone coming in and speaking the truth. Maybe you confronting someone and speaking your truth to someone who has been dishonest. To someone who's left you feeling imbalanced when it comes to finances or that you're doing too much for the money you make. It's time for you to put on the emperor energies and to go to speak to the person in charge or to take charge. To get clear, organized, logical, disciplined, focused, and determined about the goals you are going to set moving forward. And look at then comes the Ten of Pentacles. Then comes an abundant amount of money, okay? Prosperity, stability. And Spirit's saying you need to take the steps to move forward with the chariot energies. This is a major arcana and Spirit's going to help for you to move towards success. Now when it comes to love energies, we are at 14 minutes and 26 seconds. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Capricorn with clearly defined messages regarding Capricorn's life path here on earth at this time on into the month and through to the end of month. Month, the month of January 2018. Capricorn, love and romance energies, thank you. 
Okay, yeah. So some of you who are dealing with an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, or who has that in their rising or moon or chart, however, you're going to come into an awareness that someone else has a different perspective when it comes to your connection. And I think you're going to walk away from the battle, the struggle. You're going to start new beginnings for yourself. And at this point in your thoughts, I think your love life is going to be affected by children somehow. In your relationship sector, someone is stepping in the right direction when it comes to finances and are finding great financial stability. But yet there's some sort of disruption in the soul, like a residue left over in spirit saying that your self-respect is what will make you more romantically attractive moving ahead from what has been. So pull up your bootstraps after going through an experience with someone and in your creative inspirations position, go after what you want. Don't block a new path in love. Give someone an opportunity to show who they truly are. Even if they have a different perspective than you, that gives you clarity. That gives you the ability to know what to do next in your own path. Spirit saying, creatively, think of a way to free yourself from a situation. Take back control of your life. If someone or something got too much up in your thoughts, it's time to take back control of your life. Set plans and goals for yourself to achieve new things in January. And here you are. Passion is being ignited in your thoughts. Take that passion creatively. Free yourself and manifest something with the Empress energies that will help for you to heal. Look at this. Healing has to do with forgiving someone, for they know not what they do. We all do the same mistakes. We all learn the same lessons. We just learn them at different times and in different ways. So release and heal from someone who may have hurt you inadvertently and learn from why you had to go through this connection in the first place. Everything that happens to us happens because we allowed for it too. We decide who and what we say yes or no to. We decide who can or cannot come into our path. So as you release and heal this past that you experienced, you can now take that experience and knowledge and manifest something much more beautiful with the Empress energies as you move forward. So that may be what some of this awareness is about as well. Now in your emotional aspects position, someone's moving on and they are feeling like someone's stabbing them in the back or that they've ended a very difficult path because they have freed themselves. And Spirit's saying, now it's time to turn that Ace of Cups right side up and to go ahead and make the romantic gesture to others. We can always connect with others, be kind with others, and start off by putting others in the friend zone so we can protect our mind and our heart from going too deeply before we understand who a person truly is, before we understand that person's true perspectives. Some people, from what I'm learning in these readings, they're addicted to the passion, so they'll go and they'll have the passion, and when it burns out, they go on to another to have the passion again, and that's an addiction. Love is something that is blessed to us from spirit, so there are others who want to find love, that long-term work. And it is. It's a, it's a struggle. It's working every day to do for another person to show them our love, right? So subconsciously, some of you feel like there's going to be equal give and take, that you're receiving the finances that you've been waiting for. And Spirit's saying, as you are working on this new direction in finances, divine timing is going to work in your love life. They have heard you. Subconsciously, some of you know or should know and give thanks to Spirit for the work they're doing to line up these blessings for you in love. If you're single, of course. Now, in your practical day-to-day -day matters, it's about balance. It's about letting go of the pain and anguish of the past. We cannot carry these negative swords with us and expect to have balance in our life. And Spirit's saying, if you're looking for a soulmate, you can obtain one just through your prayers, your affirmations, and your visualizations. That will help guide Spirit to who and what and how you want love to be in your life. But you've got to free yourself from someone or something first and sweep away the guilt and shame tied to any past experiences in January. So in your uh, mental uh, inner strengths position, 
You're going to have hope and the ability to take the time to rest and to heal and to start to move in a new direction. You have the inner strengths, beautiful, to release an ex and to clear your energy, to forgive from a situation and to learn that everyone has a different perspective on life. And it's important to understand their perspective before we give away our heart. So someone in the beginning of this reading, there's a situation that involves marriage. Either someone is married or you want to get married. Someone may be reconciling from someone in their past in hopes of marriage. Some of you may be trying to reconcile with someone because you are looking back wondering if they were the right one for you. But what really needs to take place is this forgiveness. And then in the next two to three weeks, Spirit's saying, flirt, flirt, flirt. Free your mind. Follow your gut to what truly fulfills you in life. Let your friends help you. And as you are flirting, know that it is safe for you to open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, which is love. Love is all around us every day. We are already in love. Whether we're with someone or not, we are blessed with the love of fresh air, with the love of nature, with the love of our pets, with the love of our family, with the love of our friends and the people we meet at the store. When we go out and connect with someone and get to know them in their soul, we bring them into our love and we end up loving them like we do our mother, father, sister, brother, aunt, uncle, grandparents, friends at the store. It, they become a best friend that you want to do for and share your life with. So if you're, if you're tied to the energies of someone who made you feel sad and poor and depressed and worried and fearful and etc., take a flame of a candle or even an imaginary one and put all of your frustrating and sad thoughts into that candle or into this imaginary flame and then blow away, blow, blow away the thoughts and the ties to that thoughts of that person, that situation, and the experience, and know that they are dissipating along with the smoke into the atmosphere. That in that moment, you have stepped into a brand new path by which you now have control. So you get to be the boss of your path. You get to decide who comes and goes in January 2018. Because in the final position, for some of you throughout this month, you're going to come to the realization that there's just not of enough traction or chemistry to keep a relationship going. And you're going to find out through having honest discussions with each other. Some of you may be feeling that someone is a soulmate who lives at a distance and you are wanting to come back together. And you can. Spirit's saying, come back together and have fun like you would as best friends. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine, but don't give away your heart and your soul until you've had time to disconnect and contemplate if your feelings are real and worth exploring. There's a lot here about healing. So Spirit's guidance and of advice for you in January is to set a new vision for yourself. How is this new chapter going to look? Know that you have the energies of the strength card to start new beginnings even if you have to deal with a situation involving children. In your relationship sector, love yourself first. Somehow along your path, you ended up being disobedient to your boundaries and your goals, your ideas and your demands. And you ended up with a blindfold on, swinging that sword into nowhere. So now it's time to take control and find balance in your life again and to stand by your vision and your boundaries. In your foundation, it's about freeing yourself from the energies of others that bring you down and about becoming loyal to yourself, first and foremost. Forgive and learn and then take an oath to yourself in January about what and or who you're going to allow into this plan, this vision, this new path for yourself. The High Priestess of Air is going to help for you to cut away from any situations or circumstances that you need to move away from because of a long, painful road. And in your 
subconscious the high priestess is here to help you with your emotions the high priestess of water is going to guide you when it comes to divine timing when it comes to who what and how and when you can open your heart to a person again they're working through your prayers and affirmations to bring in the right person for you so that you can maintain balance in your life and with the uh, choices angel here, he's got a white wing and a black wing. Are you going to make the right choice? The good choice or the bad choice in January? Yes. You're saying release your ex, follow the path forward. Let go of the pain and anguish of the past through this vision. Stand by your oath and know that one particular doorway is absolutely forbidden. This doorway is blocked by a cement wall. This is spirit's way when they present this card of telling you that a doorway that maybe some of you want very badly is not meant for you. Somehow they're protecting you. So this is a month of slowing down and really taking your time getting to know people better before giving away your heart and soul. I do feel like a connection could work out if you guys learn from what didn't work in the past and apply that to January. Because I believe that someone's going to come in and they will be a test. Could for some of you be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. But it's more a month of healing and letting go of what was. Because in the end, you start to shine brightly. Somebody comes in and makes you feel happy. But then there's anxiety. And when there's anxiety, it is time to slow down and think about the oath you took to yourself. So the word of prayer we pulled earlier is truth. I am lovingly honest with myself and others. And to close, I'm going to read from the book. You drew this card because some truth is being hidden. Most likely, you are the one hiding it from yourself. How do you really feel about your present situation? This card counsels you to take an honest inventory, admitting the most vulnerable feelings you have to yourself. If someone isn't being forthright with you, you'll know within your heart. The first person who comes to mind is probably involved with this dishonesty. Sometimes people aren't truthful because their fears of conflict make them people please. Other times, dishonesty stems from a lack mentality arising when individuals believe that they have to take what they want because there's not enough to go around. Take the time to sit quietly in meditation and ask God and the Holy Spirit to reveal the truth about your present situation. Although truth has a subjective component in opinions about the same situation, it will vary from person to person. There's a need for greater honesty in order to heal and to resolve this present situation. So somebody is letting go, they're learning from an experience, a connection, an environment, an establishment, and they're I think you guys are going to become more playful, more happy, more fulfilled because you have control over where you've been and where you're going. You know, what you can do with where you've been is sweep it all away and follow the high priestess forward. She's going to give you the answers you seek. She's going to provide you with clarity by which there may be confusion. And I feel like the confusion is going to show up when somebody builds a wall. And when somebody builds a wall, we are to understand that that person is busy in their own path, working on their own spiritual experiences here on earth. It's a time then for us to go and to understand what sort of cycles it is that we are repeating. Cycles are things that we do over and over again only to come up to the same unfulfilling result. It's time to identify the cycles and to get clear about how we're going to move forward in a different way. And in the outcome position, Spirit's saying, remain playful. Because love is every day around us, right? Love is each other. But don't find yourself 
in denial when it comes between playfulness and what you believe love is. For some of you, it's an important month to write down your oath when it comes to love. Knowing that your self-worth is going to become stronger, not only because of what you're learning in January, but because the High Priestess of Earth is guiding you towards the blessings when it comes to finances and greater prosperity. Spirit's saying, let go of situations that involve lust. And the final card is the summoning card. This is the beginning of 2018. You get to choose what it is that you summon into your path. And this is a number two year of nine. So the choices we make will last a very long time. Make sure we know what it is that we are summoning for our future before making any final decisions in January. So thank you so much for coming by my channel. If you'd like me to pull from your personal energies, feel free to email me at josiek42 at gmail.com. The information is listed below. Thank you again for coming to me. Uh, those of you who have had readings weekly, monthly, yearly, um, and for the donations and the subscriptions, please remember to subscribe as I am trying to get to my next goal, which will be about 25000 um, I'm sorry these are late. I have been very busy, but I am on target and have been able to return readings within 24 to 48 hours, unless you do an emergency reading, and those are immediate. Thank you again for stopping by. Happy New Year, take care, and God bless.